In coverage of the severe weather, Tom Sorrells is tracking the storms, but first Mike DeForest is live near Lee and Edgewater in Orange County. Mike, what a wild night out there. Tony, there is so much involved here. What about claims that there may have been some type of deal to pay Greer hush money? Do we know much about this? Well, psychologists say all of these circumstances can very easily bruise our digital egos. In fact, online rejection may do more damage to the psyche. Barack calls you his rock, the one he can always depend on, the one who keeps him grounded, but couples don't always agree on everything. When it comes to the issues, where do you and your husband disagree? You know, Barack and I agree on uh, everything that matters. Breaking news in the war on terror. We have just learned at least seven American soldiers are dead after a series of attacks in Afghanistan. Things got really heated between two groups of people who each claim they are the real Tea Party in Central Florida. So, Tony, what what is all this about? And as hard as today was tonight, might be even harder for some people. Not knowing if their home will be there in the morning is the burden that hundreds of people are carrying tonight. I'm Jacqueline London in the morgue on the set of CSI New York. Coming up, we are going behind the scenes of the hit TV show next on Primetime London. A lot of people were heartbroken when you were killed off on 24. Did you think that your run would be longer than that or did you think it was imminent? For the very first time in history, the entire National Mall will be open to the public, and this is considered a national security event. This is a time for people to reflect and savor this history. It really was an incredible sight. More than a million people packed in the National Mall, waving flags and cheering for the new president. Good evening. I'm Jacqueline London in Washington, D.C. I fell in love with Edna. Aw, thank you. It took a lot of work, though, hours and hours in the makeup chair to reach that point. The key to Edna was making her a real Baltimore woman. I'm the cutest chickie that you ever did see. Anything you learned about women after portraying yeah, Edna and how hard it is to fit into high heels every day? Okay, well, I don't know how you guys do it. The high heels, the, well, those days it was bras and girdles. That's a lot of work. Meow. You have such an accomplished list of movies over the years. Do you think there's one that has defined you the most? I don't. You know, Just the I compilation think, think, of everything. I think <laughs> all hail the queen. A live one-on-one -on -one with the one and only coming up. Pushes you to a higher level. Does that mean we'll be seeing you on Broadway? Is there a little hint there? Mm, no, no, <laughs> yeah, no, no. It's a lot of, it's a lot of work. One-on-one -on -one skills challenge with Jackie London. I did all right. She did pretty good today. I'm getting lessons from the best. Here we go. <laughs> No doubt, in need of some work, but a little lesson was all it took. Oh. She's trying to get her J right because she's trying to go to the WNBA. <laughs> and right now it doesn't look real good. You know? It doesn't look real good. We call that promenade. So we look at each other, okay. then, you, then you promenade, pop, like that, okay? Right. So we'll look ready. on three. One, two, three, pop. Then you walk. <laughs> Cha Cha is working the hips. Working All that, hips. yeah. Figure eight. Yeah, you figure eight. Then you're working the hips. Then you do a little spin. There right. you go. Yeah. There you, are you getting dizzy? <laughs> but then Jerry wanted me to do something I wasn't quite sure about. Now, what do you mean lift me up completely? Oh, oh, oh. I mean, you're scaring oh, me. I created you like this and I'll spin you. All right, just don't drop me. You never drop anything, so I don't know why I I'm think even she's, saying that. She's <laughs> <laughs> do you think I would drop her? Just jump. <laughs> I'm just glad he saved the last dance for me. Save the last dance for me. Jacqueline London, Local 6. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Out here in the field. Crime scene investigation from the inside out. On the set of CSI New York, we are given extreme access to show you what goes on behind the lens. Oh, hey, good energy, action. From the director's chair, a day in the life of a New York City crime lab and the detective at the helm. In the morgue, we sit down with Detective Stella. Melina Canicaridis, I love saying your name. Oh, I love you for saying it. <laughs> Is it true that your first name comes from... Honey? Honey. The Meli, Greek prefix? Meli in Greek is honey. So yes, it's honey. If I, if I wanted to be a country singer, I'd be, it would be perfect. But Melina has made quite a name for herself from her days on the hit shows Providence and Guiding Light, where she got her start 15 years ago. And now, CSI. Do you ever have 
a tough time with any of the scenes, certain things you just can't watch. Oh, you mean you don't like watching the guts and stuff? <laughs> you want to watch, but it's, but it's kind of like that. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I know, uh, yes, please. One of the real CSIs on set said that you seem to have a little small forensic scientist inside of you because no matter how complicated the subject matter, you get it. I have to understand what I'm doing in order to memorize this stuff because it's so complex. In one episode, she went against script and spontaneously kissed Gary Sinise during one of the scenes. She says it just felt right. Best part of the job. But that wasn't written into the script, but it yeah. worked and they kept it. Yes, you're very good research. That is impressive. Yeah, th those moments are, are delicious. And, uh, and I mean, that's the stuff as an actor that you, you wait for. <laughs> I can just think and think about it all day. It's kind of fun, isn't it? It's really fun. Well, you may not have to just imagine if you win tonight's Powerball drawing, the $260 million jackpot is the highest since Powerball came to Florida. Local 6's Lewis Bolden is live on Edgewater Drive in Orlando. Lewis, you have expensive taste. I know you bought a ticket. <laughs> I bought, I've got my tickets right here, Jackie, and I could figure out a number of things to do with it. Are you more an Aston Martin kind of guy or a Cartier watch kind of guy? You know, I'm going to have to go with the Aston Martin, but I'll tell you yeah. what, figuring out what I would do with it would be easy. <laughs> Figuring out what to get you would be the hard part, because what do you get the girl who already has everything? Let me tell you something. With $260 million, you can't go wrong. Everything starts looking go. good. All right, Lewis, thank you. When you hear about things happening in Paramore, all too often it's not tied to anything positive. But right in the middle of the underprivileged community is a crown jewel. At a very impressionable age, children are getting some of the greatest gifts that will likely stay with them for a lifetime. Go! It's a really fun game. You would love it. Will you show me how to hold a golf club? The game is not exclusive for the rich. But anybody can play. And I think it's great. That's freedom. Those kids are so impressive. And Doc says he has a three-pronged approach to teach his children. Practice just about every day, along with a lecture he gives them every Friday. Training on Saturdays and playing a Dubs Dread course on Sunday. The instructor has them in his grasp so much with constant reinforcement of positive teachings, almost guarantees success for a very bright future. So when you have a tiny smokehouse selling more than 12,000 pounds of beef each week with the line out the door half the time, you have to wonder, what's the secret? Is it the brisket, the pulled pork, the sauce, which is really good? Or is it another ingredient that you can't quite put your finger on? Now our other big story, a woman is kidnapped from work and murdered. We have team coverage tonight as investigators uncover exactly what happened. Local 6 reporter Tark Miner is at that car lot where the victim worked, but we begin with Donald Forbes, who is following this investigation. Donald. We now turn it over to Tark Miner. Tark, a lot of people are turning out today to remember this young woman. They're even leaving memories right on our website. And Local 6 will continue to monitor this story. We are working to find out what else that suspect told deputies and what happened with the car transaction that may have set him off. Danger at the beach tonight. Taking a live look at our Daytona Beach camera, you can see the waves really really starting to kick up out there tonight. Well, you've heard about them. You probably belong to them. We're talking about Facebook, Twitter, and MySpace. Well, they could be bad for your health. The new warning from doctors coming up in the next 15 minutes. Tonight, Bree McMahon is out of the hospital. Her goal is to get back on this field. Local 6 reporter Ramin Khalili shows us how she is working to get back in the game. This Halloween, local deputies are making sure your kids are safe with what they are calling a Halloween sweep. Deputies will be patrolling neighborhoods all weekend, making sure that registered sex offenders aren't passing out candy. Well, psychologists say all of these circumstances can very easily bruise our digital egos. In fact, online rejection may do more damage to the psyche. Experts say the reason is fairly obvious. There are no facial expressions online, no tone of voice. Too bad, because I was going to accept all of you who friended me on Facebook.